It is so far from Time Magazine. Biden inquiry may be weakest in history. Oh, yeah. From CNN, the most predictable impeachment investigation in American history. From Reuters, McCarthy opens long shot impeachment probe of Biden. From MSNBC, McCarthy's Biden impeachment inquiry is the Benghazi investigation on steroids. These headlines are going to increase. We, we know what's coming. We, we know that they're working against us, against the American people in this case, and for the White House. Of course, that's what regime media does. Joining me now, that congressman from the great state of Louisiana, Congressman Mike Johnson. He's on the House Judiciary Committee. All right, Congressman, the Democrats are going to make idiots of themselves trying to fall on that sword. The media is as well. The Senate is not going to convict the man. But you are pursuing just how dirty this person is. How dirty is Joe Biden? Very dirty. That's what the evidence has shown us thus far. That's why the impeachment inquiry phase is necessary. And by the way, today's hearing was just that, to, to show that this is indeed a necessary step. Why? Because we have evidence now. We have emails and text messages and bank records, and we have whistleblower testimony from the FBI and the IRS that all point to inescapable facts. And that is that the Biden family was enriched because Joe Biden used his office to do that. At least $25 million, $24 million over five years that we know of so far from foreign adversaries. So it's a very, very important issue and one that the Constitution requires us to pursue and follow these truths wherever they lead. Congressman, why, why are there no Democrats who are concerned? I'm not, I'm not naive. I understand how party politics work, but there's not one national Democrat who's concerned that the president of the United States of America might very well be compromised by our foreign adversaries. That's not even an extreme statement. The evidence points to the fact he is compromised. Right. And of course, they politicized the impeachment process with Donald Trump uh, on on virtually nothing at all to proceed and go straight into impeachment. We're not doing that. We're the rule of law team. We're, we're for the law and order. We're for the Constitution. And it says very specifically, Article 1, the sole power of impeachment belongs with the House. And Article 2, Section 4 says, a president shall be removed from office for impeachment of conviction for treason, bribery, high crimes, misdemeanors. The things that the evidence is leading us to, the, the allegations that are very serious and have been made and the mounting evidence stacking up to show is uh, the causes that are listed right there in the Constitution. So we have no choice. Why are Democrats ignoring it? Purely for partisan political purposes. They know, they can see this just as we do. Many of them will admit privately behind the scenes here that they know Hunter Biden is corrupt. And they all suspect, as we do, that the president knew exactly what his son was doing because he was engaging in phone calls and having private dinners with the very people that were sending all these checks. Um, it, it sinks to high heaven. Anybody who looks at it objectively has to acknowledge that, but the Democrats won't because they're fearful of the next election, of course. Speaking of law and order, here's the Attorney General of the United States of America. Have you had personal contact with anyone at FBI headquarters about the Hunter Biden investigation? Uh, I, don't real, I, don't, I don't recollect the answer to that question, but the FBI works for the Justice Department. It's, uh, no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You don't, recollect, you don't recollect whether you've talked with anybody at FBI headquarters about an investigation of the president's son? I, I don't believe that I did. That sounds like lawyers speak for I absolutely did, but I don't want to perjure myself. Yeah, that's exactly right. And the reason that the House has to be so vigorous in our investigations in this impeachment inquiry process is because Merrick Garland's Department of Justice is not doing its job. In, 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 in reality, in the real world, what's supposed to happen is the DOJ would be alarmed by all of this corruption and all the evidence that's been uncovered, and they would be doing this job, but they're not. And so we have to, it's only 65% of the American people have a favorable view, or, or uh, a favorable, I'm sorry, 65% of the American people have a negative view of the Department of Justice, and that's because of Merrick Garland. Uh, he has led the department into this, you know, two-tiered system of justice and 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 the, the, the balances that are weighted. You know, they aggressively prosecute Donald Trump, and they slow walk and give special treatment to Hunter Biden. Everyone can see that. Every American can see it, and Merrick Garland can't give answers for it because there's no way to defend it. Are we going to see any movement on this shutdown funding thing? Are we heading for a shutdown and that's just the way it's going to be? 
Well, the reality is we're running out of time. I, I am an optimist. Uh, I, I think that there may still be a, a chance. We have, as you know, four big appropriations bills that will be voted on here in the coming 24 or 48 hours or so, and then there will be an effort of, of a stopgap measure to try to prevent the government shutdown. I, I think there's some hope that we can get that done. I certainly hope so. No one here desires a government shutdown. What the Republicans are working for is a change in the way Washington works. And getting back to this regular order process, as messy and as ugly as it is, ultimately is a healthy thing for the republic and so that's why we push so hard for it are we going to get anything we want i don't expect everything i want but anything we want or are we going to kick the can down the road again well look the republicans conservatives here we're trying to hold the line on spending we voted on a series of amendments last night way into the wee hours of the morning uh, trying to cut as much spending as we can we have a 33 trillion dollar federal debt and in spite of all the threats we have on every front now, because we have weakness projected from the White House, the greatest threat to us at the end of the day is our is our nation's debt. And so we have to get serious about this. You need adults in the room to advance uh, the, the cutting, the limiting of government and getting it back down in its size and scope. And that's what these fights are about. They're worthwhile fights. They have to be done. And again, it's messy sometimes, but that's our process. That's how it works. Well, Congressman, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Appreciate it.